Herman, the baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a wrestler holding a professional record of five wins three losses he stands six feet three inches tall weighing in at 265 pounds fighting out of regina saskatchewan canada introducing the challenger Bob! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, these 
These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Submits him with the arm ball. How about that? Great job. Great job. He got him. What a fight. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines is going to stop this contest at 2 minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. And...